Uh, with Tommy or uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, we've uh, been on a text uh, uh, thread, hot and heavy, getting months through uh, everything. That was a glorious uh, evening last night. Just watching that, it was incredible. So really, really cool to see everybody was fired up for that. I'm guessing you don't envy those two guys having to play each other with their relationship. No, and it, yeah, there's a little distance between Tommy and Munz, but you know, actually Munz was uh, had agreed to have Tommy come on up here and then uh uh you know he took off from Minnesota and so I had to call him after he left I'm like what the hell's the deal with this guy you said <laughs> he's just hanging out around here and then obviously Tommy ended up just being just spectacular uh here for Gonzaga and all of us and and uh certainly down in Arizona too but it's yeah so but so yeah, it's it's a loose connection, but connection nonetheless. Leon versus Billy. Yeah, I, I tell you what, I don't want to get on too much of a soapbox, but Leon, that's one of the worst screw jobs I've seen, man. I mean, they, I mean, they had a heck of a year and swept some of the teams that are four or five seeds ahead of them, and uh, yeah, that that one was shocking. So, but I was glad to see Tad get in and uh, Billy get in. So. Yeah, it's funny, man. When you got all your buddies in this thing, you're you don't want to play them, and you're but then you're also rooting for them to get a good seed. And if they get a good seed, you're probably gonna have to play them. And so it's it's a little dizzying watching that thing. So, but hey, for us to be in Salt Lake, and I think they rewarded us for us going out and playing people in the non-conference. And uh, uh, and look, I say this every year. It's just such a blessing to be involved in this thing. And, you know, I think not maybe you people, but everybody has a tendency to take it for granted. I get people running up to me and just can't wait for March Madness, you know. They're telling me that in July, and I'm just like, no, you got to earn your way into that. You don't just get it. So, and obviously there were times this year when it didn't seem like it might happen. So hopefully that was a good kind of way to, get our get us back level and set to really really appreciate moments like this and and to be involved and i think the greatest sporting event there is and and uh and you know and then the thing i always say and then the matchup pops up and you're like oh boy and then your stomach starts going and uh obviously this is a really uh a team that's won a lot of games and plays a really interesting style they're going to climb up into us and and uh uh, you know, got a lot of quickness and a lot of talent, um, so it'll it'll be a it'll be an interesting challenge and, and probably something a lot different than what we've faced uh, all year. What's the satisfaction level for you doing it this way? Not smooth sailing. They're going to be a one seed. Yeah, yeah. Through all the bumps and kind of get where you're at now. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I don't. I, I don't know about advantage. I mean, I tell you, just you know, we just makes you think introspectively you know to really appreciate everything and 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 to really appreciate this group because they were under a, a ton of scrutiny that really they didn't you know they didn't have anything to do with those previous teams they're their own team you know and they had to embark on their own journey and those other teams were so good and so incredible I mean that you know uh, that's a tough tough to always have to live up to that but they they figured it out, man. We dug our heels in, and and they, I, I'll give them credit. They listened all year. They were coachable all year. They were, they hung with it. And I mean, imagine you told me at the end of the year we'd have to, you know, go on the road on the other two best teams in the league and beat them, uh, you know, to get, and then the week before go to Kentucky. I mean, we've never had to do that now. So uh, I'll always remember that. And uh, and and now we're, you know, now we're back where we're you know, comfortable being and we're, we're used to this and, and, uh, but we have to go out and play. Got to go out and play and got to play good. You keep, if you don't play good, you're, you're done. So. What was the message after the St. Mary's game to the team and what will be the message sort of going forward? Heading up to uh, the message was easy after the St. I, I told them like, Hey, listen, everything I've, I've told them this numerous times this year is everything's still in front of you. Everything that we're all about and all we really, really, want and care about is still in front of us and the reason it's in front of it now is because you guys did what I just described I mean you you got it done 
you know, you put us in position where we could drop a game in the conference tournament. And I think there was a good stretch this season where nobody thought that was even possible. And so you deserve all the credit for that. So don't be hanging your head. And uh, just told them, you know, we didn't, we didn't do what we'd been doing prior to that game. And so it's kind of a anomaly and let's correct it and go out and get ready to roll. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't have had a career without Munns. He's the one who suggested, uh, you know, told Fitz to hire me. And Dan was basically the guy hiring the position, you know, because I kind of had to, I reported to him and brought me up here, no money, um, let me sleep on his couch in his apartment. And, and we did that for two years. And then I moved up and gave me cheap rent when he bought a house. And we moved out of the apartment after I got broken into a couple times. And, uh, um, yeah, so I mean, I, hey, I, uh, I owe my whole career to him. I mean, he gave me the start and all that. So that's why that was just so powerful last night watching that. Um, it was something. I think a lot of people came into the year and maybe projected you guys to be a top 15, top 10 team with all the transfers. But I mean, Graham was out for a year, came yep. back, and Ryan, new position, Nolan's kind of taken on a new position, still gets hurt. Um, yeah. How much adversity do you, do you think this team had to kind of go through? Yeah, and again, I I just say that preseason stuff is just, you know, come on, man. Um, uh, you lose a guy like Drew Timmy, and then, I mean, Julian's in the, you know, first-round pick, and then, you know, Malachi and, and Razier. I mean, was, we lost we lost shooting. We lost talent. We lost incredible persona and, and personality and competitive fire, and so there was a lot of – stuff i mean we lost a lot probably as much as i can remember uh here and we've had some big losses over the years with guys moving on to the nba or just moving on and and uh so i mean i think we all knew it would take a little bit of time and and obviously with grant or graham situation you know i, I think even i forgot he hadn't played in a year so i knew that would take time and, but he also did a good job of just powering through staying healthy you know, it was it was a long haul just getting him comfortable to play on the foot and play. So, and I, I just I give my guards credit for being incredibly resilient. We played them a lot, played them a lot of minutes. We, they took all the minutes in practice. It was hard to get them out of reps in practice. And, uh, you know, God blessed us with just great health this year, to be honest, because we could not afford any type of, uh, you know, injury, especially after Steele went down. I mean, it does when you make it. I mean, if you're sitting on the outside, I mean, you know, that's not a great feeling. So I, I agree. I've always been one that I, I like it how it is because, I mean, you have to really, really earn it. You have to earn it all season, whether it's playing great non-conference schedule or knocking it out in your, uh, in your league or, or both. Uh, but, you know, that's a hollow feeling when you don't make it. And I think there was, you know, there's certainly more teams this year than ever. It was interesting to hear the committee chair say that they've never had a, you know, a situation like this where there was five teams that knocked people out. I mean, usually it's one or two. And uh, that's hard. I mean, I feel for those teams that didn't make it, especially like an Indiana State. What do you think St. Mary's will face going into the arena this week? <laughs> I mean, I hope our our people root for him. I hope. I mean, Randy's done a great job, and they're, uh, you know, I, I have ultimate respect for them, and they're a good group of guys. They play basketball, you know, the, the right way. They're smart. They're tough. They're, you know, so, I mean, I hope the Zag fans get behind them. Do you guys get a five? Are you guys pretty content with that? Oh, yeah, man. Um, it's always good around this year to, you know, get some surprises, you know. Um, yeah, we, we were expecting something much lower. Um, well, I was. I'm not sure about all the rest of the guys. But, um, yeah, man, it's always it's always dope seeing, you know, a higher seed come up with our name on it, for sure. Mike Saunders, ring a bell? Mike Saunders? Mike Saunders, Watch Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, is he, he's on McNeese, ain't he? He's on McNeese, ain't he? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be dope running back into him, man. Um, 
Yeah, he, he was a little bit, he was at, uh, one year ahead of me before I got to Wasatch, but uh, he was always coming back and visiting Wasatch, you know, playing with the guys and stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was in contact with him. Um, it's, it's crazy. I didn't even I didn't even put two and two together now that you mentioned his name, but yeah. So not teammates a year apart? Yeah, a year apart. Not, not, not teammates, but a year apart, yeah. But me and him, we know, we know of each other for sure, yeah. Couple of the guys on the, on the selection show already picked them to upset you guys. Did you guys really? see that? And what's your reaction? Did you have another trip on the shoulder there? No, even the announcers when they was announcing us, there's been a lot of hate, um, you know, um, especially a lot of slander with the Zags, of, you know, about preseason, even during preseason, about us not being the Zags that, you know, you know, other past years may have, the, you know, talent-wise, but, you know, we didn't. We look past that. I don't think, you know, it shouldn't be anything we shouldn't, should, you know, be worried about either. So I think we should just look past this same way we look past the preseason slander, and we should be fine. Yeah. Is it a different feel going in? Not, you know, being a one, not being picked by half the people that win it, or Final Fours, is there a different vibe that way? Or do um, the expectations change at all? Um, I don't think there's a different vibe. Um, I think uh, making it to the NCAA tournament is always a blessing in itself, regardless if you're a one seed or a 15, 16 seed. It don't matter. Um, I think, you know, going into it for sure is, is going to be much more, you know, emphasis on, on, on winning, you know, as much as, you know, being the one seed of the past year has been. But, um, yeah, man, I think going into it, I think everybody has the same mindset going in. So I think we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were for, for sure. We was for sure wanting to get that. Um, you know, it's unlucky, but uh, we kind of felt that after losing to St. Mary's, I, f I felt like we wasn't even gonna get a shot at the Spokane trip. But you know, that's how it works. You kind of like going back to Gonzaga fans to be able to get to that game rather than mm -hmm. on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely, West Coast or you know this over on this region is always always good for us. I think the St. Mary's getting a five in Spokane. Yeah, I actually had a feeling, man. I had a feeling that was going to happen, man. You know, it was too busy bashing us and, and, and all that. You know, they, they got to come back here and play us. So hopefully they'll have some Spokane fans down their neck and they, they can hear about it. But, um, yeah, man, it's, it's dope. It's dope to see. It's always my favorite time of the year. You guys talked about, you know, not really listening to the outside noise. Yeah. Happen, but after that St. Mary's game, did you guys start looking at practicality at all? Yeah, I'm pretty much all in. Um, you know, we we don't want to, you know, think about it too much with the brackets and everything. You know, um, like I said, it's always a blessing even just to be an in. So, uh, yeah, man. Honestly, I think that's what everybody's headset was after the loss. Um, you know, it did hurt, um, but you know, being back to practice, fill it up, and now we got McNeese, so we got to take it out on them. So. You and uh, Ryan have obviously played a lot of minutes. Mm -hmm. Anton. Yeah. How much, how important is his rest now between now and Thursday? Man, it's extremely important. Um, we've been doing a lot of yoga, stretching, um, a lot of that. So it's, it's yeah, recovery is, is, is real important right now. Um, we are playing a lot of minutes. It's a lot of tax on the body, but um, we'll be fine, especially uh, for Thursday. Yeah. Do you watch a bunch of those games Saturday, all that craziness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. Sitting there watching. It was the same, um, but again, man, I just think it's March, man. Whatever's in the air, that's 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 how it goes, man. Every single year, um, this year it just tends to get a little bit crazier sooner. I feel like it didn't even hit, you know, the actual bracket play yet. But um, yeah, man, that's how March goes, man. Do you feel the wear and tear on your body more right now than this point last year? At this point, your freshman year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most def. Um, but I mean, it's it's not like it's gonna it's it's, it's you know uh, negative negatively affecting my game or nothing. Um, it's just I feel like it's even me just getting older. Honestly, um, you know, you get get to certain ages, your body starts aching more, um, certain areas, you know. Uh, but yeah, last year um, I don't know. It, my body wasn't really having any any problems as much as it, they are. I, I would say this year. Um, this year I am doing a lot more. You know, I am. Putting a lot more effort into the, you know, into the court than I was last year, but um, yeah, man.
I, I think I'll be. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine for sure. You feel like you guys are capable of in this tournament? I think we're capable of a lot of things, man. Going on a run for sure. That's for one. Um, just showing that you know, Gonzaga is a program that that is not to be played with. Um, our, our you know a lot of people's been like I said slander, and a lot of the people's been playing with us. Um, but I feel like we bring a lot to the table. Um, so. Yeah, we're ready to show it. I'm ready to show it. Um, so it should be fun. What's been the, uh, the main emphasis of practice the last couple of days? And what do you guys feel like you need to clean up from the, uh, the Mayor's game? Honestly, just tighten everything up. Um, that's pretty much what, what's been, uh, uh, you know, uh, zoomed in on pretty much in practice, just dialing everything up, making sure everything's tight, our plays, um, you know, um, in the game situations, you know, stuff like that. Uh, just to know, just to get the, you know, the practice going and the experience of, you know, when the, when the time does come in game, you know, we'll, we'll have the word thought to know what, what to do, so. See, I think most were projecting a six, seven. Yeah, a lot of people were projecting it, but I think that's where we're supposed to be. Um, I think the way we turned around this season, um, especially after that Kentucky game and the second half of conference play, I think that's where we deserve to be. and. Uh, they did a good job voting on us. Graham came with a, uh, a box score of McNeese and already seemed to know everything about that team. Um, does that impress you? And then also, what do you, what do you, what do you kind of think uh, Yeah, that sounds like Graham, the student of the game for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I just saw the record only lost three games, which is impressive in its own. I mean, I looked at who they played and they beat some good teams. Um, haven't looked too much on individual stats, um, but I know our coaches will be working around the clock right now um, to get the film and scout ready for us. Um, so we'll watch some film tonight and then the rest of the week and get a better understanding for what we got coming. I think you've been a part of two or three one seeds. <laughs> Overall, number one, how different is it when you're a five? <laughs> not the whole world. Uh, well, the selection Sunday is a lot less stressful when you know you're a one seed and you won the conference tournament, I'll tell you that much. Um, I was starting to sweat a little bit uh, towards the end there of the show. Um, but when your name pops up, it's a great feeling. Like you said, there's not a lot of pressure on us. I mean, the whole CBS crew, I think, picked McNeese to beat us, which is nothing new for us this year. Um, so once again, coming another chip on our shoulder, and that's kind of what we've been facing all year. In terms of those teams and this year, the growth, what can you say about this team, just how far they've come from the start? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you know a lot of those other teams have just kind of started just at an elite level. Um, and this year we have so many new faces, so many new guys in the locker room that we kind of took some time to learn how to play with each other and stuff. And then once we, once we got that all figured out, I think, I mean, we're just as good as a lot of those teams were in the past that were the one seeds. It just took us a little longer to figure it out. Um, I think we're getting ready to make a deep run in March. You got some friends playing elsewhere, other teams that are anybody come to mind? Yeah, there's a couple of Portland guys um, that are that are playing. I know Aaron Delonia at Vermont, Marcus Lahonis at Long Beach State, um, and then Lamar, and then Mookie and Jackson at Oregon. Um, so a lot of Portland guys actually are in uh, the tournament this year, which is cool to see. Um, kind of getting some Portland some recognition, recognition. So it's cool. Anton and Graham talked about the rebounding uh, coming off the St. Mary's game. Yeah. How personal are you guys taking that right now after getting mm, blasted, the blasted on the glass? Yeah, uh, very personal. I mean, coaches tell us all the time we're playing three bigs for a reason. We should, that should never be happening, um, and it did. And so, you know, you got to got to fix that. And it's not any you know technical thing. It's just wanting the ball more than the other team, and they wanted it more than us that game. And we can't let that happen again. Um, in this tournament, or we're going to be going home early. What do you think about uh, St. Mary's getting getting play in Spokane? What do you think they're going to face this week? Uh, well, I know Grand Canyon's student section, they travel them out here, so they'll try to go. They're going to be coming out here. One of my best friends goes to school out there. He's already planning to come out. Um, so it's going to be a challenge for them just because I don't know how the Spokane fans are going to react to that. We'll see. Um, but, I mean, props to them. They're a great team. I mean, they, I think they're going to make a deep run. Um, but it's going it's to be a little challenge. Not a not a home court advantage for them. <laughs> definitely playing an away game. What's sort of the message after the St. Mary's game? What do you think the message will be now leading up to Thursday? Uh, we just had low energy um, in that game, and it's, I don't know how. I mean, 8:30 game night before. I know personally, I didn't sleep very well that night. Kind of the adrenaline was still going, um, but that's not an excuse by any means. Um, you know, they just had more energy than us, and 
you know, they wanted it more than us, it seemed like. We just came out a little flat and never really picked it up. So um, we know now we got to bring it from the jump in, in this tournament or else, like I said, we're going to be going home. What do you think this team can do? What do you think you're all capable of? Uh, national championship. I think that was the goal from the beginning. Um, and then obviously, like I said, it took us time for it to, to figure it out. But that's the goal and that's what we're shooting for. I mean, if, we're, if we don't have that in the back of our minds, then there's really no reason to be playing. So I think we're still playing for a national championship and I think we're more than capable of doing so. Did you guys know it was going to take a while? I mean, people always project you guys top 15, but Graham coming off the injury, Ryan, your role, Nolan, not a point guard now, and Steele's injury, you playing a different role, obviously, yeah. Anton's more of a go-to score, and did you guys kind of think it would take as long as it did? Uh, no, I don't think we did. I think we kind of just expected all a bunch of good players to learn how to play with each other quick and figure it out, um, but that's just not realistic. Um, so, I mean, we figured that out real quick and, you know, realized that it was going to take some time for us to figure out how to play with each other and kind of adapt to our new roles on this team. And, you know, we did figure it out, thankfully, and uh, we're right where we need to be right now. Just close games um, that they've had recently. Uh, field goal percentage, who's been shooting the shots, how many attempts they get up. Um, definitely rebounding and turnovers. Um, B-Mike was telling us before we got in here that uh, they like to force turnovers defensively. Um, so that'll be cool. Um, they're probably going to get into, up into us. Um, so we just got to handle that pressure well. I know they get up a lot of threes. One of the guards is averaging like 18 and 5. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll get a plan on him and see see what that looks like. Um, but it looks like they're pretty pretty much guard heavy. It's a lot of knowledge for a match that was announced in like 20 minutes you've already gathered. <laughs> yeah, um, we got to stay on our toes now. You know, it's March, of course. Um, everything is right in front of us, and, you know, we just got to be ready for the next moment. Um, and our staff is doing a great job of preparing us for that, and I know the guys are definitely prepared for that as well. Any intel on some of the big men you might be facing? Um... I was looking at him, um, maybe number five, Cullum, um, and Shoemate. Shoemate's a little bit of a uh, undersized four, six, six, four man. I remember playing him at uh, McNeese a couple years ago uh, when I was at Wyoming. So I remember him. Some of these other dudes, no, nah, I'm not really familiar with. But yeah. Do you have a file already of all the teams you might play or something? Uh, nah. <laughs> Oh, I think that's Barry. You know, he's quick with it, uh, with his stuff. So, yeah, he had it ready to go right after they announced it. Reaction when you saw your name as a five, oh. Salt Lake, and then St. Mary's as a five. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> I was super, like, shocked. Like, we got the five. Um, honestly, I was expecting, like, a seven or something. Um, but, yeah, 11 where we're at, 11 how our bracket's looking. Um, and then the St. Mary's deal being here, you know, I was joking maybe a week back, like, well, if they just happen to get placed in Spokane and <laughs> look at it now, it's probably going to be an away game for them. But, yeah, we'll see. Everyone talks about elevation when it comes to, like, Salt Lake and yeah. Denver. You grew up in Denver. You yeah. played in Laramie, which is, like, the highest elevation in the country maybe. Yeah. Um, do you expect that to be any kind of factor? Um, you? Is it, I mean, it, do, you, do you ever notice that when you come only, back only, to places like that? Only times I really noticed it was Laramie. But that's, yeah, that's an anomaly in itself, uh, 72-20. But, like, now, nah, me growing up in Colorado, I'm pretty much, I feel like I'm used to it. Uh, body's used to it, and uh, Salt Lake's lower than that. Um, it might take a couple, like a possession or maybe the first four minutes just to get used to the style up and down and all that. But after that, I think we'll be good. Connections, good friends, playing, teammates, former um, buddies out there? Um, I'm not really sure right now. I got a... Got a couple guys, you know, like a little bit on like Boise, Colorado. Um, some of my Big East guys didn't get in. Um, but I still got to look at some of the other brackets. I was just so so focused on where we would go, honestly. I was just like, okay, our name's not popped up. All right, not yet. And then when we got there, just focused on our side of the bracket. What was your reaction to some of the CBS guys oh. already picking McNeese to win the game? <laughs> I thought that was cool. Uh, you know, every, everybody has their opinion. You know, you don't say what you want to say, but ultimately, we we know what we're capable of and, and what we're what we want to do. Um, yeah. So, but it's just feel to the fire. You know, cool. I think we're gonna lose. All right. Is that like good for family members to come? Yeah, friends? definitely, and um, definitely family members and friends, and even us uh, with traveling and, and our um, fans. And I heard we got a lot of fans down there already, so that's gonna be great. Uh, we need that. 
what do you guys need to do to, to come out and, and win this game? And what's kind of been the focal point of practice uh, since you guys um, Yeah, just focusing on every single possession, uh, rebounding most definitely, um, and just trying to get better each and every day, like knowing that we cannot take this for granted. There's only 64 teams uh, left playing for something. And um, this is a great opportunity that we have, so cherish, cherishing this and um, just trying to get better. What was it like for you uh, playing in that first four game a couple of years ago? Was it Indiana? Yeah, it? yeah, and in then, Dayton. In Dayton. And then um, last year, watching the tournament from home, and um, just kind of wanting to get back there. Yeah, um, it, it feels like surreal almost um, to be back here now in this opportunity, in this space with these people. Um, this is what every kid dreams of, and to get back here is great. Honestly, I don't really count my first four. Uh, I didn't feel like I was all the way in, and I st and I lost at that time. So like, just to be here now, it's on and popping. Honestly, I'm I'm loving where we're at right now. How important is this rest this time of year? Like I guys playing a lot of minutes. You kind of played 18 months prior to this season. How do you feel personally, body wise? Um, how yeah. much rest? Rest is is so important, especially at this time. But even before the season, like, or not even before the season, but early on in the season, if we're handling your stuff, just trying to stay with our trainers and, and staying in the weight room with TK and stuff like that, it'll help us out now in March, which it, showed, it, it shows it has. Um, I'm feeling great, honestly, body-wise. Just did some yoga this morning, uh, some, got a massage yesterday. I'm about to get in a flow tank after this, so it's just like always just staying on top of it. My mom says that prevention gets no credit. Uh, yeah. What damage can this team do? Um, I think we make a real deep run, a lot of damage. Um, as long as we just stay focused in on, on one game at a time, focus on winning that one game, which is the mindset we've been having this past month, month and a half, honestly, um, and just keep that going. Keep keep having great zeal, as Coach says, and, and, and great enjoyment in the game. We'll be fine. Anton talked about the rebounding and that after the game on Tuesday. That's something that you guys took kind of personal. How much of that? Um, Kind of a focal point. Oh, that's a big focal point. Um, cause 37 and 22 is rare, um, definitely for us, and it didn't feel good. Um, and so that's something we were working on yesterday, the day before, and we'll probably go back working on it tomorrow. Um, yeah, because we got to finish possessions, and conversely, we got to get extra possessions on the offensive end. How much satisfaction do you take that it, it was a bumpy ride? You guys figured it out. Um, a lot of satisfaction, just because you know. We, we got tested to the fire, um, and we saw what we were made of, honestly. And um, for us to come out um, on the other side feeling better, um, it just it just makes us as a collective stronger. Uh, you know, I think we all believed that we were going to make the tournament. We didn't know what seed we were about to get. But um, yeah, we're just happy we, we made it in. And five seed, you can't complain with that. Salt Lake City, that's like two hour flight. So, you know, we're pretty happy about that. Uh, I think it's the same mindset as you know the teams before. Um, it's just take one game at a time. That first game is against a super good team um, in McNeese. So uh, yeah, I think we just lock in the one game at a time and then you know just let let it, let it go from there. But uh, yeah, no, nah, we we super excited to play. Do you miss all the pressure? The pressure? Uh. Not really. Honestly, it was kind of more of a surprise because uh, I was a little bit nervous. I didn't know where we was about to get seated or anything. So uh, I've been just kind of thinking about it for a while. But yeah, now that I and then got called, you know, it, it feels good. And, you know, it's back to work. It's basically a new season. Did you hear the CBS guys kind of picking uh, McNeese? And uh, what's your reaction to that? And it's kind of the theme of the season. Just another thing to put on your shoulder, tip on your shoulder, right? Yeah, no, nah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. There's nothing we ain't heard before. So, um, yeah, no, nah, that's that's good with us. Uh, what's just uh, your general reaction to 26 straight bids uh, longer than you've been alive? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's crazy. And it just shows uh, just what this program has done and, you know, the coaches and just what, what has been built here. So, um, yeah, that's – that's credit to all the guys before us, and um, you know we just happy we, we get to carry that tradition along, and um, yeah, we, we playing in the tournament, so you know that's that's the big time. Point of 
hard for you specifically to be able to make five straight? I know you didn't play in the one, but yeah. um, was that kind of your, your goal coming here is to get, get there every year? Yeah, I think that's, that's everyone's goal who plays college basketball is to play in March Madness. Um, it's the best time of the year. And um, yeah, this is, my, this is my fourth time playing in it, so um, I can't complain. I want to go out guns blazing. Yeah, it's huge. Um, we're doing a lot of recovery, you know, just trying to get our bodies right. And um, Salt Lake City, they got high altitude, so we got to be ready for that. But uh, last year we played in Denver in the high altitude. It wasn't too big of a factor, but yeah, we definitely got to get our rest and uh, get our bodies right for the game. Not carrying all the seating and picks and all that, but you guys do have a lot of things going at the tournament. The first game streak, Sweet 16. Oh, yeah. There's still some desire to continue those, uh, those other things? Oh, uh, yeah. I think, obviously, we want to keep those streaks alive. Um, I don't think it's, like, too important for us just to focus on that. But, uh, yeah, we want to win. And, you know, we're known for making it far in the tournament, winning games in the tournament. So, um, yeah, that's how we, we all trying to win. What went through your mind when you saw St. Mary's as a five in the camp? <laughs> yeah, uh, we were kind of joking around and talking about uh, all the GU fans should go to that game wearing purple and um, just start booing them. But, <laughs> you know, yeah, it kind of sucks because, you know, we wish we could have had that Spokane spot. But, uh, yeah, they, they deserve it. And, um, yeah, hopefully they put on for the WCC. I know. I'm like, if we won that, we could have been in Spokane. I didn't realize that. But, uh it is what it is. You know, you can't complain. What's, what's been the focus of practice the last few days, and uh, what do you feel are kind of the main areas of improvement you guys need to make after uh, Tuesday? Yeah, um, just just our toughness and physical. Um, we got outboarded bad against St. Mary's, so uh, a lot of rebounding drills, and then just one-on-one -on -one defense. Um, defense and rebound, that's what wins games in March, so uh, that's really what, we, what we've been working on. Um, I think our offense has been flowing pretty well. Uh, St. Mary's, they just they just play a different type of basketball, I feel like, and you know the defense is good. So, um, yeah, I just focus on our defensive rebound was big for us this week. What connections do you have with people you know on other teams or, or what have you, even you went against in high school, those kind of guys? Do you know some of these? Yeah. Players? It's more, more when I was younger just because uh, – uh, I feel like I'm old now, and um, a lot of dudes graduated already, so <laughs> it's a little bit different. But no, nah, I still got some boys playing on different teams, and um, it's cool to see them when they make the tournament. And um, Who yeah, are those guys? Uh, Paxton Wojcik, uh, even Boise State, uh, they got a lot of friends on there. But yeah, it's it's cool when you see your friends make it to the tournament, and hopefully we get matched up against them. How satisfying is it this time around compared to the others where you? Know you're a lock, you know, midway through the year. Midway through the year, a lot of people think yeah. you're getting there. What's the satisfaction with that? Yeah, um, you know, mid-season, mid we didn't really know where we were at, but uh, I'm just proud of how the guys, you know, we just kind of buckled down, won some big games, and um, made sure that we were going to be a lock. Because um, middle of the season, I don't think anyone knew where the end would end up, so... Uh, yeah, we're just happy we made it, really. You're going to get to see uh, Liam Lloyd in Salt Lake at Arizona's playing there, I think. And yeah. Some of the Arizona guys I'm sure you're familiar with. Yeah, yeah no, I'll probably catch up with them. Uh, Big O, Liam, uh, you know, all their coaches that used to coach here. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely catch up with them. Probably see them in the hotel a little bit. Uh, your first reaction to getting a five seed? Uh, I think that's where we should be, uh, you know. I don't know, man. I think a lot of people were saying stuff about what they, where they thought we were going to be, and obviously they didn't really know. So I think we we deserve another that five seed for sure. What did you make of St. Mary's coming to Spokane as a five? I don't know. I think that's cool for them. I mean, it probably won't be a lot of love for them out here, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's cool for them. Good. Were you guys kind of hoping to get that five in Spokane and not travel very far? Just... Yeah, that would have been nice for sure. Um, that would have been really nice. Maybe if we won the tournament, we would have got that, but. Uh, yeah, we definitely wanted that, but it is what it is. Salt Lake, probably not a bad spot to be either. Creighton's a three in, in the same bracket, right? Uh, I, I think, yeah. I think, uh, any, any thoughts on that and how tight 
are you with those guys there? Uh, I'm tight with like Trey Alexander. That's like one of my good friends. So, I mean, I'm happy for them back in the tournament. Um, yeah, it's good for them. I hope they do do well. Would you like to see them again? Yeah, it would be fun for sure. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. Quick. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind that. That would be a lot of fun for sure. What can you take from your run last year um, and, and having some experience? A lot of these guys have experience. Your grand played two years ago. Mm -hmm. The guys at Gonzaga. Um, what was kind of the key for you guys to make that run, and how do you kind of use that? Yeah, I think I think it's like you said, experience is a big thing. Um, playing in those big games, playing in games that are whatever at one day apart are, are, are tough games to play in. So you really just gotta lock in and focus in on what's coming next. You can't get too high, can't get too low, and you just gotta be consistent. And um, I think if we do that, we'll be in good shape. Uh, we'll get a good week of practice. Coach will definitely prepare us like they always do, and um, we'll be ready come Thursday. What was the most eye-opening part of that experience for you last year, where you say, now that I did this, I can, I can feel better about it this year, whether media stuff or practices or something you didn't expect to see? Or I would say just getting the environment of the tournament. I feel like it's a different environment. Um, that you don't know how what it is like until you're really there, and I think that would be new for our freshmen. But I think we just got a lot of veteran guys who will set the tone and um, get the guys ready for for whatever it may be that that comes our way. What kind of stuff can you pass down on the freshmen and some of the younger, inexperienced guys? Yeah, just keep uh, instilling confidence in them. You know, um, we've had a full year and they're they're pretty they're almost like sophomores now at this point, and they played a lot of basketball so. I think they're ready for the moment, and we don't really got to toss to those guys too much. But uh, just keep feeding them with confidence for sure. This was a very new group when you guys started. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Graham coming off an injury, Ben and Nolan playing different roles. You're yeah. learning a system. You guys lose steel. Mm -hmm. How far have you guys come since you guys got together and played that season opener in ATL? Yeah, we've come a really long way. Um, like you said, just having the experience of playing with each other. We're a new group coming in. Um, a lot of guys had to figure certain stuff out, um, including myself. And um. I feel like at this point in the season, we're really gelling. We're a really close group off the court, and it's, I feel like it's starting to show on the court. And uh, I think that's just going to keep going on into the tournament. And um, looking forward to going down to Salt Lake and getting two dubs. How many people you know, you know past teammates or Canadian mm -hmm. people you know or Big East? Mm -hmm. How many do you know in the tournament? Any close ones besides the Cravens? Uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot. I know a guy in Western Kentucky. Uh, I played with him when I was younger. Obviously, the guys at Creighton. I can't really remember. I, there's probably a bunch. You know, I'll probably like see it when I get there. There's a guy in TCU. There's, there's a bunch, so I can't really uh, say them all. But Western Kentucky, is he Canadian? Yeah, he is. He's from uh, Quebec. His name's Enoch Colombe. So yeah, first year in college, played JUCO for two. So yeah. Have you done any research on McNeese? Graham came with the uh, the box score and seems already know everything about those. Guys. <laughs> yeah, nah, not yet. I'll probably do that tonight, and um, I feel like the coaches will also prepare us for that. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely go watch the film tonight. Yeah, I guess Graham. I don't know, man. <laughs> he knows everything. <laughs> Is that a yeah, pickleball ball in your pocket there? Yeah, I don't know. We just – everybody loves pickleball. Nah, nah, but everybody loves pickleball over here, so I'm just playing around with it, you know, throwing it around. <laughs> Can anyone challenge Chris for you? Chris Not yet, man. I won't, I won't say that, but I'm, I'm going to try and get better and challenge him one of these days, man, for sure. You know if your brother will have a chance to, to come on Thursday to play? Or uh, I doubt it. I doubt it, but I'll, I'll talk to him, but I doubt it. Yeah. Any reactions? Nah, we don't really care about that, you know? People have been down us all year, so they can say what they want. We got to go out there and play anyway, so we'll see you on Thursday. Sure. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.